Good morning. This is John from the Springs Mennonite Church. It's good to be with you today. You know, this is the last week of the year 2020. And from what I hear, a lot of people can't wait for 2020 to end. And we start anew in 2021, expecting things to be better. And that's good because God is always doing something new. And we ought to expect God to be doing something better because he's never stagnant, doesn't sit around, wait. He's always working on his plan. And his plan for us is always fulfillment in life and joy and happiness. Even if things don't exactly work out that way, he's still in charge. And so I thank you for giving me a few minutes this morning to, to visit with you. And I'd like to read from, from Proverbs one verse, chapter 27, verse 19. As a face is reflected in water, so the heart reflects the real person. Let me read that again. As a face is reflected in water, so the heart reflects the real person. Now, perhaps you have, you've been around some lakes where they have are good have good reflecting characteristics. There's some out in the West. I believe one of them is even called the Mirror Lake. And if you're at a distance, you look into the lake and you see a perfect image of the land above it. Perhaps you watch the movie, The Lion King, and in that you saw Simba look into the water and Rafiki said, look, there's your father. He said, no, no, that's just me. It's just a reflection of me. And the same thing with a mirror, or what used to be called a looking glass. Sometimes we need to look in the mirror and see what we see, because what others are seeing may not be what we see. But nevertheless, this passage says, so a face is reflected in water. Now, perhaps you know the story of Narcissus. Narcissus was, a, in mythology, a Greek god who was quite a handsome fellow. In fact, he was known for being extremely handsome. And one day while he's out, he's looked into the water and he saw this image that he fell in love with. It was himself. And he was so in love with that image that he wouldn't move. And after a while, he died of starvation and, and dehydration and whatever else because he couldn't quit looking at his own image. We call people like that today narcissists who are only interested in themselves. And most of us aren't in that category. But when we do look in the mirror, we may not see everything that we, we want to see. I know some people only see the physical characteristics, the age lines that may have come or the hair that's out of place. Or some people think the nose that's too big. You know, that's understandable. We are our best self-critics, I guess. But the passage doesn't stop with looking in the mirror. He goes on to say, as the face is reflected in the water, so the heart reflects the real person. I've seen some of these blurbs on the internet. Perhaps you have too, if you've gotten older. And it shows this older person looking in the mirror and they see this younger person. Many of us can't see ourselves for what we really are, whether it's physically or whatever else. Many of us put on good faces, or we try to. Uh, I noticed the other day how some of the creams and, and advertisements that are on the television are directed almost specifically and exclusively to women because the ad is simply saying there's something wrong with you if you're not using our products and looking the way our product says. And when we look in the mirror or in the water, sometimes we see things, well, that aren't there. So the second half of this proverb is really, really important. So the heart reflects the real person. Now, what's that talking about? Well, it's not talking about our physical heart. That's just a pump. It pumps blood. 
If it pumps really well, generally we're healthy. If it doesn't pump very well, generally we're not healthy. <laughs> and, and the heart works from the time you're born until the time you die. It's an amazing pump, if you will. But in ancient days, and still today, particularly as we get closer to Valentine's Day, you'll see it again. The heart is used as a symbol of the person. Now, we know in current physiology is the brain that interprets everything. But we still say things like, you know, think, in, think with your heart. What does your heart tell you? We use that imagery to somehow imply that our heart is the true measure of something. Now, in this passage, it says the heart is a reflection of who you are, the real person. What that's talking about is you can put on a show when you're out in public. Well, how do you act when you get home? You know, in my own life, I've known a lot of people who out in public seem to be a perfect example. But when they got home, they were a whole lot different. Your heart reflects your basic values, your basic beliefs, the way in which you initially respond. Now, things happen in life. Little things, like getting a flat tire. Big things, like getting cancer. Or having a tragedy develop in your family or in you. How do we respond when we first hear those things? Well, generally speaking, we don't respond how we think people want us to respond. We respond based on who we really are. You remember that commercial? Uh, people would be getting busy and they'd say something about investing. And the guy says, well, E.F. Hutton says, and everybody stops and stares at the person speaking. Well, one time something like that happened to me. I was up on a roof helping a parishioner replace his roof. And there were a number of folks up there. And it's somewhere along the line, I hit my thumb with a hammer. Now, if you've ever hit your thumb or finger with a hammer, it hurts. It really hurts. And then, unfortunately, once you hit it one time, you seem to find out almost every time afterwards for a while. But I'm up on the roof, and I hit my hand, my finger, my thumb with my hammer. And all of a sudden, I looked around, and everybody was staring at me. They just wanted to see how I was going to respond, I guess. And I don't remember what I did, but I did think, now, this is really funny. But it wasn't. They wanted to know who I really was, and they decided that they'd know by watching my reaction. We reflect the love of the Lord in our heart by the way we respond, with kindness, with joy, with unhappiness, with compassion whatever it is in your case. But it does say that the heart reflects the real person. So I want to leave you today with the question of who are you really? Do you act like who you want to be or do you not? It's up to you to make that decision and evaluation. I certainly can't do it. But I encourage you to think about it today. Well, thanks for listening. As I said, I hope you have a wonderful day. If you have a need or you have a prayer request, please let us know. We'll do everything we can as fast as we can to help meet your need. God bless you. I'll talk to you again.